with the uh, opening facing out. All right, guys, welcome back. This is part two, Octane Raker 92. And today we're gonna to be painting the calipers. First, we have to mix the paint. Here's your paint reactor, your stir tool. This is all the stuff that comes in the paint kit. And you got a sticker you can put on your car or on your wall in your garage or whatever. So first off, we're gonna go with opening the paint up. Try and do this carefully, I don't wanna spill any of this paint. All right, and it's open. I'm gonna take the paint reactor. Now in the box, in the instructions it says that it's an eight ounce paint can, but it's only four ounces of paint once you've mixed in the reactor. The paint has a shelf life of 12 months. So the date is on the box when the paint was put in the can. So just be mindful of that when you get some of this stuff. Don't let it sit too long. This is also self-leveling paint. So in case you guys are wondering why I didn't get the spray instead of this. And with this, you'll be able to put on a thicker coat. Um, it's measured for four standard calipers. So I'm going to try to stretch this. If I can't, I'll just order another can, I guess. By the way, if you are painting two six piston calipers and two four piston calipers, I recommend getting two cans. Um, we're gonna see if I can make this work. All right, this is stirred up enough. Then I'm gonna go see the paint. All right, so we're gonna start my Find the first coat. Like I said, this has all been cleaned. So let's see how this goes. All right, guys, this is the second coating. All right, guys, this is the last coat. And it's looking pretty good now. All right, guys. So we're gonna start with the rotor. I spray painted this just so I, like I said, I can get rid of the rust. Um, I don't think I showed you guys how I got rid of it, but I told you how I got rid of it which is with uh, vinegar in the vat. I showed y'all when I put it in, but I didn't show you when it came out. And all I did was wipe it off with a clean rag. I'm gonna put one of these on just to hold the Rotor in place while I put on the caliper. And they're in. Now, I'm gonna put the pins in. I'm gonna put the top one in first. Use a 13 socket. Put 
All right, so this is the decal. Daytona. Fit right there. If you guys want something like this done or anything for this part, for the guys with six piston Brembos, even four piston Brembos, I got something back there too. I'm gonna show you guys in a sec when I'm done with this wheel. Um, the company is D4 Designs. It's also a vape shop located in Port Wentworth, Georgia. It's called the Vapor Lounge. All right, so now with our breaker bar, so now that I tighten this one, I can't touch these two. Maybe go here or here, doesn't matter. Now that I tighten this one, I can't go here or here. So now I go here. You want to tighten this again and get it on the ground. So now that I got here, I can't tighten this one. I can't tighten this one. I've only tightened this one. That one, that one tight. This one is loose and this one is loose. So now you go, since I tighten this one, I can't go to that one. I'll only go to this one. Sure this comes off from the tape. There we go. And there you go. Now we're gonna go to the back. All right, guys, so now we're going to be doing the rear wheel. Okay, then the back one was go over with a uh, coat of the yellow G2 paint. And as you see on the back, I have 392. I've done between 392 and 500 for a Daytona 500, but my other stickers right now say 392 on it, so I didn't want to go away from that yet. I may change that. I'm still uh, deciding on it. So here we go. Put on the rear wheel. Same process, you can put them on, put your uh, lug nuts back on, you know what you want. But when you're gonna tighten them, you wanna use the star pattern. So you get even distribution of uh, pressure on the wheel and the hub. So my dad taught me, so that's the way I do it. There's other ways, pretty sure. You just go in a circle. My dad's been around cars for a long time, so I have no reason not to trust that method. I've always used it. So that's just how I do it. On the back, this is my uh, wheel lock. You may ask why I don't have it on the front. I was trying something and 
I forgot where I put them in, honestly. Let's see if this GT paint holds up, which is what I painted. I did on the coat on my wheel lock as well. You notice? If you didn't notice, that's what I did. Hmm. Held it pretty good. Didn't come off. I spray painted this before, and when I did that before, some of the paint came right off. So I'm assuming as long as you don't constantly take these on and off, they will be good. Since I tightened that one up, I can't touch this one or this one. So from there, can't do this one or this one, so this one. This back wheel doesn't move, as you guys all know, rear wheel drive in park keeps that from happening. So now that I did that one, can't touch that one. There we go there. And the last one, those are both been tightened, so. Boom. So that's it guys. Uh, thanks for looking at the channel. I'm gonna finish on these last two tires on the other side. Same process, so I don't wanna uh, take up more of the time with that. But also, don't forget to check out my previous video, part one of this rotor and brake caliper tutorial and painting to check out my giveaway. Um, it's gonna be at the end of the month. So all you, guys to, all you guys have to do is subscribe to my channel, comment on the video, what you wanna see more of. Also follow me on Instagram. So good luck to you guys, whoever uh, wins. And if you don't know what it is, check out the video to see what the uh, free giveaway prize is. All you have to do is subscribe, like, comment, and follow me on Instagram. Later, guys.